If you're sick of the mainstream sports outlets, well, so was I. So I started my own show. I'm Shane Larson, and this is the Game Time Guru. It's different than other talk shows. I'm providing a panoramic view on sports so you can see them through a different lens. So buckle up and let's go. What is going on, everybody? Welcome out to episode 100 of the Game Time Guru podcast. I am stoked to be here with you guys today. For the third week in a row, I have the opportunity to speak to you. Now, I'll be honest, I was trying to set up some elaborate, uh, great episode 100 to just make this thing boom. Uh, but what happened was, you know, no excuses, but truly, I was out of, out of town for 10 days. I, I was really busy coming back, and it was just so hard for me to, like, set up an interview. And I thought to myself, you know, I have some interviews set up for the next couple of weeks, but at the same time, um, I enjoy talking to you, and this gives me an opportunity to speak with you guys and hear hear from me on episode 100 of the show. The interviews can come later, and we'll provide more value uh, going forward. But I want to talk to you guys about some of the stuff that I've learned throughout the last two years and the, and the 100 episodes that we've done. First things first, guys, as we talk about this this podcast that I've done, if you guys remember, when I first started this podcast, I was I, I had it named uh, 208 Sports Review, and 208 was the area code. It is the area code of which I live, but that's what it was called, 208 Sports Review. Nothing flashy. Uh, I did like four episodes or five episodes with that name, and that was it. And I really didn't do anything with it. Um, 208 Sports Review was, that was that. And I decided I wanted to do a rebranding. And it took me about six weeks to do a rebranding. I figured out a name, did a logo, and decided to, to come back at it with the Game Time Guru. And I'm happy that I came up with the Game Time Guru. It's been something I've been able to ride with and build this brand out. But the 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 quality of the episodes have significantly improved since day one. And I'm not just trying to pat myself on the back. I'm just saying like, as I continued to become more and more confident in interviewing and, and reaching out to people, you know, I expanded upon, you know, my, my sports interviews, right? So it wasn't just talking about one sport or this sport or that sport. It was actually allowing other people to come in and talk about sports. And I, I was looking back uh, before I did this episode at some of the great interviews I've had and some of the topics that we've discussed. And sometimes I forget about them. You know, like I'm like, wow, I can't, I can't even believe we talked about this, this, this. I forgot I talked to this person, this person, this person. I'm like, that, that's so awesome. I've been blessed to be able to speak to some of the greatest people um, around the country and around the world. Um, the fact that, uh, you know, when I first started, I was so gung ho about the sound quality and it was hard for me to do interviews outside of being face to face because I was like worried about the sound quality. I didn't know exactly how I could get an interview done um, over the phone or anything like that. But, you know, the the things you learn when you're trying to do a sports podcast and host your own show and, and do it, you, you learn things. Um, you're forced to learn it and, and for good reason. So that's what I've done. I mean, I was able to, to find new ways of communicating with people, um, find new ways of interacting with people on social media. So if you haven't been onto my Instagram page, go follow me on Instagram at Game Time Guru. Interact with me. I'll, I'll write you back if you guys comment on any of my threads. It's just fun for me to to interact with people. And so I've tried to build out my social media following. I've tried to build out my, my podcast and the reach that I've had with other people. And it's been amazing. So some of the, the best interviews though, like I go back and I'm like, man, I wonder what, what it would be like if I would have interviewed that person now with the knowledge I have and with the skills that I have. I'm not perfect by any means, but I think my interviewing skills have significantly improved since day one. Um, and so like I look back at some of the interviews I've done such as uh, Roberto Bergerson, who was he just was my idol growing up. I, I truly, you know, mimicked his game in basketball because I wanted to be just like him on the basketball court. Uh, he played for Boise State, then he played overseas. He was drafted by the Blazers. He tells us his whole story. It was an amazing interview for an hour where he talked about his entire collegiate experience and then his professional experience. Um, and I wonder what it would be like if I were to interview him now. But at the same time, I believe that every interview I did um, was done at the right time, if that makes sense. I did every interview at the right time because it helped me grow um, at that particular moment. I think interviewing Roberto Bergerson, it was like a, a fanboy moment for myself. But I was able to conduct myself in a professional manner and uh, have a solid interview and get some great information out of um, Roberto. So that was really cool for me. Uh, Bob Beeler was another one. He is the reason I did this podcast. If you guys don't know that already, uh, Bob Beeler is the reason I started this podcast. He was um, in my class at Boise State University. He told me, hey, you got to go home and start recording. If you don't have something on, on record, then you've got to go home and record. Like you have to record. And so I decided that that day I was going to start a podcast because... He said, if you're going to try to apply for any sports media jobs in the future, you got to have something on record so you can have like, 
a resume, like something. You can't just have nothing. So now I decided to, you know, grow that. It's crazy to me, you know, at the beginning of the show, like, you know, interviewing people like that, it was just so awesome for me. Um, and to see, like, I only had like 50 downloads a month with four, four episodes. And now I get close to anywhere between 1500 to 4,000 downloads per month. And it's amazing for me. Like I, and I'm humbled by that because it's cool to me to see how it's grown. Um, and, and it's cool for me to see how my confidence has grown and, and just see the cool guests that I've been able to bring on the show that have told their stories. Um, I just love, I love the people that have been on the show and, and you get to hear so many things. So one of the things I've learned doing this show is that we should be rooting for some of these athletes and these people that are in the show, um, that have been on my show, we should be rooting for them. Uh, oftentimes we get caught up in this whole thing like, oh, well, they're not the big time athletes, so we shouldn't be rooting for them. Well, guess what? Like eventually those big time athletes will no longer be there. And that's what I say about people for like, you know, some people say the same thing about my podcast. Well, Shane's podcast isn't that good. It's not that big of a following. He's not that great to listen to this or that. He's not that big of a name. I'd rather listen to these big names. Well, that's great. That's your opinion. I'm just letting you know, though, that like eventually those guys will be gone. The LeBron Jameses of the world, they'll be gone. They'll retire eventually. And these up and coming basketball stars will take their place. These up and coming analysts for, for sports will take the place of those that are already there. The Scott Van Pelts. You know, um, the, the Stuart Scott's when he passed away, like people will come in, in their place, you know, like, and, and that's, that's how it's going to be. It, it happens every time. Eventually a new, a new guy shows up or a new girl shows up in the sports world for basketball and they take over, uh, or, or professional hockey for, for women's sports and they take over. It's just, eventually there's going to be a new name. Um, and I think somebody who really demonstrated that when I was speaking with them was Brendan Raftery. He's a Muay Thai fighter. Um, he's from Boise, Idaho, but he moved down to San Diego. And you guys can go check out that interview as well. You know, he moved down to San Diego to follow a dream. And talking with him, it really inspired me because he's one of those guys that I, I root for. I legit enjoy watching his fights because he's continuing to grow and uh, and and be a better fighter. I've, I've already seen three different fights of his since the, the show he had with me. So go back and check it out. Brendan Raftery. I'll put the link here below his interview he'll tell you his whole story and i've watched him lose a fight and then he's and then he comes back and he got better and better and i enjoy watching his fights and in fact i can totally see him coming up right now he's one of the up-and-coming fighters that are continuing to improve and for muay thai he's gonna keep continuing to make his mark in the game and i love it like he was one of those guys i'm like you know, for MMA guys, like we always root for, you know, John Jones and all these guys, Conor McGregor and all these big names. But in the MMA world, there's other fighters that are out there that are good. It's just a very hard thing to make your name. You got to you got to build your own brand. And and I think we should do a better job at rooting for some of these up and comers. Um, I love interviewing people that have had experience in the sports world, but might not necessarily have been at the very, very top of the game, if that makes sense, because it really inspires me to see, you know, the work that they're putting in and, and what they've learned during their, their lives through sports. These 100 episodes have been amazing. Like it's been so cool meeting new people, um, finding new ways to record. I've done zoom interviews to, to push them through Facebook. I've done over the phone interviews face-to-face -face interviews like one of my favorite face-to-face -face, like I've had a lot of face-to-face -face interviews but one of my favorite ones was Kyle Bratzman he's one of my good friends um, all the way through high school uh, but he was the the former Boise State kicker who um, is known he should be known for all the records he broke at Boise State and the good things that he did while he was there but people know him for the kicker that missed the kick against Nevada in 2010 which in turn led to Boise State not getting to go to the Rose Bowl essentially right so he was known for that and and I've always been friends with him, but I've never had the opportunity to actually ask him about that experience. And when I got to sit down with Kyle Brotsman and have a, you know, a, a good discussion with him as a friend, but then have him open up about that experience on my show, it really opened my eyes. Like you got to see from his perspective, what it was like to, you know, be the guy where, you know, you had death threats coming um, at you and how that impacted his, not only his personal life, but his family's life and all that. So it was really crazy to see that um, and be able to have that experience. I've had so many amazing opportunities to talk to so many amazing people. And if you guys remember, I did a, a an esports mini series where I got to speak with Chad Mann from the Idaho Gaming League and, and, and talk with, you know, a coach 
for esports and and a guy David DeVries who's in charge of um, Good Game Apparel. It's a it's a gaming apparel company and and you know just talk with these people that were in the esports world and I got to see their perspective on gaming and it opened my eyes to a lot of things. All of these things that I've I've talked about, not just the traditional sports of basketball, football, baseball. But we've gone into other sports. We're talking women's professional hockey. We've talked to a rugby player. Um, Matt Workin was that that man, and now he's playing for the New York rugby team um, for the MLR. It's it's just so cool. I we've talked to the we've talked about wheelchair rugby for crying out loud, um, and we've just heard from so many people across the world, across the country, about sports and how they've impacted their lives, and it's been super cool for me. It's been an amazing opportunity. I don't, I don't plan on quitting anytime soon. Um, I do have some, some other podcast ideas in the works uh, outside of sports, but I'm going to continue the Game Time Guru podcast. I enjoy talking sports. I enjoy meeting new people um, and just getting to hear their stories as I continue to use sports as an outlet to get away from you know, the real world, if, if you know what I mean. Um, some of the things that I want to, to do going forward, like I've told you guys before, is I want to give you my own insights on sports too. So there might be some segments, like we'll do an interview with people, but I might do my own little rundown of the sports recap of the week and then kind of jump into an interview that I've had uh, with somebody just to kind of give you a little bit of a mix and continue to improve uh, upon the upon what I've got going on. So Guys, I've, I've learned a ton, and I want to say thank you to all of the people that have, have been with me um, since the beginning. You know, I've talked to professional bodybuilders. I've talked to just my friends, and we just recap some of the sporting events we've gone to, what they've learned in sports. I've, uh, I've talked to so many amazing people, sports analysts, sports broadcasters, um, you know, pr- professional athletes, former professional athletes all across the world, female, male, professional athletes, whatever. Um, I appreciate every single one of you. I can't even explain it. It's been amazing as I got to know everybody, and I still follow everybody that I've that I've spoken to in the last two years. I like to follow and see where you guys are at. So I appreciate you all uh, for for joining me and helping me grow my brand as well as educate my listeners and myself on your guys' journey. So. You guys, I'm excited for what's to come with the Game Time Guru. Go follow me on, on Facebook. Go follow me on Instagram. We've got more things coming. I'm, I'm in the process. I've told you this. I, I don't know why I can't get this ready yet, but the, the funnel that I'm building out for my for my podcast, I'd like you guys to take a look at it. Um, we're going to be you know selling my merchandise if you guys want to support me. I've got sweatshirts, T-shirts, uh, hats, hoodies, beanies, whatever. We've got lots of things that we can sell um, and, and just support me if you'd like to do that. Let me know. Uh, drop me a link, whatever. Hit me with a DM and I can help you out with that. But we're going to be building a funnel for that so that we can you know, take you through the process of buying that and make it a little more streamlined. Appreciate you all. Uh, we'll be coming at you with more sports information in the next couple weeks. And uh, you know the drill. We'll talk to you next time. Guys, thanks so much for listening to another episode of my show. Now, if you could go and do me a favor, head over to iTunes, give me five stars, and leave me a review. It would be greatly appreciated. Thanks, guys. Appreciate your support.